It was a festive weekend there. Seton, what are we going to go with hour one? Well, where do you want to start, Dan? We could start with the roast. Let's do basketball. The T.O. Double D sent in one uh, about the roast. Uh, actually, you know what? And Marvin had a funny thought this weekend. Money had a Marvin had a funny thought Yay, this weekend. Marvin it was funny. Wow. <laughs> Yay. Right. Anything's possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How, who won no. this weekend? Oh, I thought you were going to say who won the roast. Yeah, well, the roast may have won the weekend. Yeah, Tom didn't win the roast. Yeah. I kept yeah. wondering as I'm watching. Why would he do this? Now, I don't know what he's getting paid, but I kept thinking, why would you do that? And then, who is next? What other sports celebrity is next? So, those were some of my random thoughts. There were some wild lines last night, and it was live. And it was a little too long, but it was still, it was live, and it was rolling. Uh, so, we'll get to some of those lines. We'll talk about this a little bit more here in a moment. I, like, there's, let, let me just do this line here. You retired, then you came back, then you retired again. I mean, I get it. It's hard to walk away from something that's not your pregnant girlfriend. Nikki Glazer, ripping Tom. Julian Edelman was on fire. I mean, everybody. Belichick. Like, it was just wall-to-wall where they were crushing Tom. But I kept thinking, why? Why would you want to do this? And could you see Tiger Woods do this? Could you see Michael Jordan doing this? Is there anybody else on that in that stratosphere, where they would go, yeah, go ahead, pile on. Now, maybe you get $25 million or whatever Netflix would give you know, that person for a roast, but I kept thinking, man, that is brutal. All right, some of the lines from the roast last night. Let me see. Uh, Drew Bledsoe, who's going to join us next hour. Now, he went first, so you have Kevin Hart, and then it's Drew Bledsoe, and then Nikki Glazer, who is a professional roaster. And uh, here's Drew Bledsoe. Drew is obviously nervous because, you know, you don't do this for a living. Kevin Hart does it for a living. Nikki Glaser does it for a living. All of a sudden, Bledsoe gets up there, and he's the leadoff man. And uh, here was uh, one of his lines. Buddy, you know, you have more rings than I do, but I've experienced a couple things that you will never experience. You know, the feeling of being the number one overall draft pick in the NFL. And a um, 28th wedding anniversary. It was yesterday. Wow. Wow. And he paused because the crowd was cheering, and then he paused, then he set up the line great. And it was my 28th wedding anniversary (laughs) yesterday. Julian Edelman, who uh, I thought would be the star of the night, he was on fire as well. And uh, here's Edelman roasting his coach. You remember when you used to yell at us? Look, kids down at Foxborough High can make that play. I've been waiting for this for so long. Look, Foxborough High is the only job offer you had. Wow. Sometimes when you add the F-bomb to it, it's either you're desperate, as Todd has proven when he went blue, when his comedy uh, routine didn't go well, or it just kind of emph- you know, kind of reemphasizes what you're getting ready to say. And Edelman is dropping some f bombs. What was the over under for f bombs last night? A hundred? I don't know if anybody kept track, but yeah, I did think of that. And then uh, Bill Belichick. Belichick came off well, like his post coaching career. He did well on the draft, and he did well last night. Had this to say about Gronk. You know, uh, a lot of people, you know, kind of uh, connected me with a saying called, you know, do your job and telling people to do their job. (laughs) Gronk, I've been watching on Fox NFL Sunday, and I'm begging you, please, stop doing your job. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> and, and Gronk just eats this up. You, you know, they roughed up Gronk, but I think Gronk's like, yeah, it's okay. It, it feels like when you make fun of Gronk, it's the same joke over and over. And then uh, you had Tom Brady talking about deflate gate. The NFL spent $20 million and found that it was more probable than not 
that I was generally aware that someone may have deflated my footballs. You could have just given me the 20 million and I would have just told you I f- did it. <laughs> it's a good line. Good line. And then people are like, did Tom admit to it? I go, look, we're past that. They deflated the footballs. It never should have been that kind of investigation. And uh, but they'd spent $20 million. <laughs> Incredible. That amount of money. And I forgot it was that kind of money. Like, it's a, it's a court trial with Tom Brady on deflating a football. But it was, it was a fun night. They're always, they always go too long. But it was live. Now I'm wondering... Who would you want to see now or who would do it? Because if I said, could you imagine Tiger up there and everything you could say about Tiger and Michael Jordan? I mean, Brady has a little bit of baggage, but it goes in the overhead bin. Tiger is going to fill up a carousel. And then Mike, could you see Jordan up there taking that? Because you know that when it was his turn, he's firing off a few rounds up there. Yes, Mark. For Tiger Woods, is Phil Mickelson a must? (laughs) (laughs) He already said yes. Yes. Can you get waitresses from IHOP or Denny's? (laughs) (laughs) Like, where do you draw the line with this? I'm looking forward to it. Yes. Oh, my God. Who else could you see, you know, sports wise, that would garner this much attention? Now, I'd love to have Tiger and Mike, but. I mean, why would Mike do it? Well, why would Tiger do it as well? You you got to have a guy who goes, you know, I'm I'm in on it. I'm, and I don't know what he's getting paid, but that probably is not mattering to Michael or, or Tiger. Yes, Eden. Do you think that roasts should be used to solve more issues <laughs> on a daily basis? <laughs> like if at the end of every uh, school year, students got to roast a teacher Ooh. and then the teacher got to roast students and then that's it. No, look, no, we're, we're good. We're allowed to say whatever we need to say. And then after that, as soon as we're done here, then everything is put to bed. It's no big deal. Okay, but if we had a roast of me and you guys were roasting me, yeah. and let's say it was last night, and then we come in today and I have to act like, hey, no problem, all that's good. Right. That's right. Nope, that ain't happening. <laughs> I can't imagine Brady walking out and Edelman's making fun of Tom's plastic surgery or Botox or whatever. Like, I'd love to know what the post show would be like. Because, you know, when you do a roast, you have writers who will help you. And obviously, the writers helped, you know, those people who aren't professional roasters. But I can't imagine you get done and then you go back into a green room and you're, you know, having some yeah. beers. Hey, or Drew, yeah, those divorce jokes were really funny. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Edelman, ah, I love when you make fun of my plastic surgery. Yeah, you're right. I have blown up two families <laughs> to uh, just go play football. You're right. Yeah. Okay. What? Yes, Todd. If Giselle and or the kids watched any of that or heard second or third hand, how does that get digested or processed? Well, that would, be, that. that would be what I was surprised at with Brady is the kids will eventually hear about it or see it. It's on Netflix. And... You know, they're probably still in school, so you might get some lines about your dad or, hey, I saw what they said. Social media is going to be crushing you a little bit there. That's what's tough. I mean, Tom, I think, can handle this. It's his kids and Giselle. Although the uh, (laughs) Kevin Hart said that, you know, she was taking karate lessons (laughs) like eight times a day. Like, Tom, and she's still a white belt, belt. which which was a wonderful line. (laughs) That was a wonderful line because I kept going, okay, what do we get? Oh, boom. He got me. That was great.